Affinity Designer 2 has got a new duplication feature. Select the rectangle tool, click and don't release. What you need to do is go to the arrow keys, press the right arrow key, press it again, and it will duplicate that rectangle. And you can continue to modify that rectangle. You can see you can just create all kinds of shapes and it's still live. Go to the down key and press. And you can see you then can create multiple copies that way. You can also press the up and that will remove them. Likewise, you can go to the left key and you can remove. So you can build up all kinds of very quick grids. What you can do, if you want to space them, because at the moment they're obviously all together, hold down the right key and continue to hold it down. And as you do that, you can see you'll get a gap forming. You can do the same with the other one. Go to the down key and continue to press that. Don't release. And then you can release it and you've got now a gap. You can go to the up and do the same. So it will get obviously closer and release. And the left, of course, to decrease that. There's also some modifier keys. Now you can hold down the shift key. And as you do that, you can see you obviously get a square shape like that. But you can also hold down the control key. And that's on the Mac, not certainly equivalent on the PC, but the control key. And you can then rotate it. Just move the cursor as you move it around. You've got that duplication, but you can also rotate as well. And that's quite useful. Now, if you want to sort of release it, just release the mouse. And there it is. All the rectangles are generated and you can see them there. And of course, at this point, you can group them all. You can, of course, of course, modify it. But let's right click and go down to group. So they're all grouped. And now you can manipulate it further. Let's just remove those. And let's just go for maybe the donut tool. Different. Select that and do exactly the same. Go to the keys, arrow keys. Press. And you can then create that and go down to the down key. And you can create, obviously, going downwards and do exactly the same as before. Down key, keep that held down and you can see the gap is formed. Likewise, the right arrow key and you can get a gap there as well. Now, of course, with this one, the control key, not much use because it's, it's circular. And release. Again, just go over here to the layers panel, right click and groups. So they're all grouped into one single group. I think that's a great feature. Very quick and easy to form all kinds of designs. Now you can do exactly the same with like star. And you can also, of course, modify the settings. So just create that. Again, right key. As you drag, press it a number of times to create all those stars. Go to the down key press and you've got that and release. They're all currently selected. So you can then go to points and let's just increase that and decrease it and so on. You can obviously modify all these other settings as well. You can also do this with text frames as well. Don't think there's any other tools you can use it with, which is a pity, but maybe in a future version, there will be some additional features. Super useful feature. Please check out other features of Affinity Designer in my videos. Also, any comments, please put them in the comments below. Thank you much.